here I'm spray painting with honey. <laughs> We're uh, trying to change it all to uh, black from the galvanized coating that's on it. A little slow going with the spray can. Kind of thinking I should have rolled it now. Uh, but this is what I had. So this is where I'm at. But I have all the posts edges already done. So I'm just going to go till I'm out of spray paint. And then uh, I'll probably pick up a quart of the of black rust-oleum. And then I'll roll from there. But all the major areas that had to be painted before rain are done. But now I'm just doing it, spraying it just to finish it. Alright, watch out baby. So it's, you know, it just takes time. So this is what I'm going to be up to for the rest of the evening. It's not much uh, later that I decided to, um, I couldn't take it anymore. So I dug out an old paint tray, an old roller, junk roller, and then I found a quart in the garage or in the workshop of the same paint, uh, Rust-Oleum paint in uh, black gloss so I'm gonna try rolling it like it's uh, it's like almost somewhere around the 150 feet of fence so it's uh, taking a while to spray so I already shook it up pretty good walking back out here so let's see let's hope this goes good Yeah, this is the ticket. So let's let it soak into the... Oh, honey wants me to play again. What's nice about this, there's gonna be a lot less wasted paint blowing through. Okay, I kind of wish I would have started with this. All right, well, this is what I'm going to be up to. And if Sparkle comes back and helps, we'll get some footage, of, good footage of that. Hey everybody, it's a cooler day here on Sparkle Farm. I, this is the first time I've worn a long sleeve shirt to work in and since, since uh, late spring. But uh, we're going to cut down the tops of our post today. Um, I measured the shortest one and it's five and a half inches uh, above our fence line. So most of them I'm gonna cut to that level. I'm gonna leave a couple of them taller, um, maybe for some lights or something in the future. But that's what we're into today. Uh, Honey doesn't really know what to do because it's pretty chilly and she has like no body fat. So she, uh, Sparkle wanted, let's just say, Sparkle wanted to put a sweater on her, but what are we going to do when it's zero? Alright, gotta go get my speed square. Found it. Here we go. Looks like I'll just be doing all the inside cuts and then uh, I'll go around and make all the outside cuts because I, I don't like doing crazy cuts like that too much unless you have to.
Oh, honey doesn't know what to do with this cold temperature. She's just sitting over there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to go on the inside, and we'll start the outside. I have all the posts. I made an executive decision. I just cut down all my posts, same height, except for the one I'm going to put the lamppost top on. Uh, I think it actually looks better, a little more uniform, and then nobody will ask me why some are longer than the others. So, all right. I'm going to go around and I'm going to put a little beveled edge on all of them uh, with the belt sander. Just uh, clean them up a little bit, make them look good for uh, sparkle. Ugh, I always forget how dusty. Uh... Honey's telling me she wants to play. Bring me a toy. <laughs> All right, well, she brought it over. I might as well throw it for once or twice. All right, so it wasn't so bad. All of the posts now have a little beveled edge around it. And I'm just gonna go get a, a rag and I'm gonna wipe them all down and get the stain and stain them up. All the posts will be done. Looks so much better all even. And then uh, we're going to work on painting the gates after we stain everything. Alright, so I'm just taking an old uh, microfiber rag I had. Um, wiped down most of the dust off of it. Now I'm just going to go around and just hit all the tops with the same stain that I uh, did the posts with. Easy as that. Yep. All the tops now are sanded and wiped down with this rag and shook it out. Now I'm just going to take the same stain I had for staining the posts and hit all the tops and seal them up. It's easy as that. All right, so I'm on the last step here on our fence for now. Um, just spray painting the gate. I've already rolled the cross pieces here, so it shouldn't take too long. I already did this four foot gate and we will be done with the fence for a while. 
Uh, just on our outside corners, I need to pick up some uh, um, fence, fence pickets and I'll stain them and cover the corners so they all look good um, where I cut and uh, stapled everything up on the corners. But, you know, that's just for aesthetics at the end, but we're, we're a home stretch here. Luckily, uh, Honey likes me. She doesn't really run away ever. Uh, only when she sees something she likes. All right, come on, dog. Both gates all painted, all our fencing painted, our posts cut and stained today. I decided to leave the chain unpainted just so at night we can actually see it uh, to make sure I didn't leave it unlocked so the dogs will <laughs> get out. Um, yeah, so this is really happy with it. And here, let me show you. Goes all the way around, big gate to get everything in and a truck or something if we gotta get to the back door. Yeah, overall really happy with it. Um, just in time, weather's starting to turn. So that's one really big project done. Uh, that's gonna save, just put us at peace of mind here on, the, uh, on our property. And so thanks for tuning in. We're going to have more projects like this coming up. Uh, yeah. Hit subscribe and keep following us. Thanks, everybody.